If you're taking your first microeconomics class in your fall semester right now, I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're currently learning about monopolistic firms. I'm a tutor and given its cost curves, this is how you tell if a monopolistic firm is incurring a loss. And before we get started here, if you legitimately feel like you're about to fail your next exam and need to learn this entire class like right now, I want you to go check out my microeconomics cram kit in my bio. I've packed it with all the core concepts and practice problems that I'd walk through with you if I were your tutor the night before your exam. So if you need to save your grade right now, go click the link in my bio to learn more. All right, but with that being said, let's first start by understanding that every firm type, no matter if it's monopolistic or perfect competition, is going to produce at the MR equals MC point. So that's going to be the intersection of these black curves right here. Now, when I say they're going to produce at that point, that is just in regards to quantity. So we can basically go down here and determine that this firm will say it will output 10 units. But that does not mean that we're going to just go to the left and say, all right, they're going to sell it at three bucks a pop. It's only with perfect competition that you can go to the left to derive price. When we're working with a monopolistic firm that derives price off the demand curve, or at least has that luxury to do so because of their market power, we go up to the demand curve and then to the left to derive price. We'll say 12 bucks here. All right, so this firm is gonna sell 10 units at 12 bucks a pop. From here, to determine if they're incurring a loss, we need to see where the average total cost curve lies vertically from 10 units. So when I continue this line up, I can see that we intersect ATC right here. We'll say at 13, uh, 13 bucks. So we're selling each unit for 12 bucks, but the average total cost per unit is 13. So pretty simple to tell here that we are incurring a $1 loss per unit, equating to this rectangle right here. This is our loss rectangle. The ultimate thing that you need to start paying attention to is not where the ATC lies, but rather at our profit maximizing quantity, does ATC lie above the price that we're charging on the demand curve? If it's above like this right here, they're gonna be generating a loss. But if it were below like this, well, they'd be generating a profit here of this rectangle instead. Once you find that profit maximizing quantity at the MR equals MC point, lock in vertically and kind of ignore the whole entire curves. It becomes much easier to assess the profit or loss being generated. All right, if that helped and you like the way I explained microeconomics, go check out that cram kit in my bio. The beauty of microeconomics is that it's largely standardized across universities. And in that cram kit, I've packed it with the 95 core concepts that you need to know, as well as over 150 must know practice problems that are guided. I'm with you every step of the way as you're going through this cram kit to make sure that things are making sense to you and that you can apply these concepts onto your exam. So if you're ready to save your grade with me, go click the link in my bio to start now.